I asked producers what are the best music production plugins and I'm gonna rank them from the best plugins to the worst and most awful plugins you should not try. Yeah, actually you should try all of this because I'm gonna rank them from my perspective and I want to say that I only included the plugins that I've tried. So yeah, if I miss a plugin, comment it below so I can try it. So for this tier list, I want to go section by section, meaning for groups, EQs, compression, and actually let's try with EQ. At the end of the video, we have a bonus section with plugins that you probably don't don't know so i recommend you watching the full video first we have a filter pro q3 and yeah this is the gold of the plugins probably the most use of this list and yeah it has to go to yes I, actually let's name this a gold because because this is the gold you know what i love about this plugin is that you can create as many bands as you want and it has a full flexibility so yeah this is the code. <laughs> Next we have Sooth 2 and I added this to the EQ section because it's kind of an EQ. I know that it's not the same but yeah it's more like a kind of dynamic EQ let's say and yeah I love this plugin. I especially use it on vocals to clean that up a bit and I have to say that this <laughs> has to go again for the code uh, because in this section I try to add the most unique plugins and again I use it all the time and it's so simple to use. By the way if you want to try these plugins I'll leave all the links in the description. Then we have the 3D Parametric EQ, this is the FL Studio Stack EQ, um, and I have to say that I hate it. Uh, I don't like the spectrum that it has. I have to say that I use it because it's the only one that has FL Studio and it's the easiest one because I can't add Pro Q3 on every track for CPU issues. And yeah, I don't really like it. I, I hope Apple Studio can update or add new appliance in the future. So yeah, it's a D and um, I think well deserved. Then we start with the reverse. And the first one is the Bahala Room. This is a plan that I used to use a lot. But the problem with this is that it doesn't really have all the options that you want in a river, at least for me. So I'd say nowadays it will be more like a B, an okay plugin. I still use it a lot on leads. Median leads works pretty well. Then we have the Mahala Vintage Bear and this this goes to awesome because it's the plugin, the real plugin that I'm using right now. What I like about this plugin that I think uh, the Bahara Room doesn't have is the possibility to have a low and high cut. It has many knobs that I like to play with. The next reverb plugin is the Fafiter Reverb. What I like about this plugin is what the Bahara ones don't have and it's the possibility to EQ the sound in the plugin. Usually with Bahara clients what I what I have to do is to drop them in the send channel and then add an EQ to shape the sound in the send channel but I can't do that in the track channel if that makes sense. I like this plugin for this but to be honest it's not a plugin that I tried a lot so I'll say it goes between okay and meh and I had to place it on meh because I haven't tried it enough. Then we have OTT. Man, we love OTT. Uh, yeah, not too much to say. Um, pretty unique plugin. It's a multiband compressor. I use it all the time for most of my sound. So yeah, it made them tight and bright. Love it. Love it. Then we have the glue. Um, this is a compressor by Cytomic. It has their, the Everton version. And I'll place it on the awesome level because uh, it's a plugin that I use a lot especially on the master channel when I want to compress or glue all the sounds as the name says. So yeah, not too much to say. Yeah, you should try it. Okay, then we have a multiband compressor and this is different because it's a five filter MB. Same as the Pro Q3, it's a multiband compressor that, that has a lot of flexibility. You can add as many bands as you want and play with them. Not a plugin that I use a lot though, but it has to go to the awesome section. Moving on with the limiter section, we have the invisible limiter. This is a plugin that I use a lot, uh, probably my go-to limiter. I really like how it sounds, pretty easy to use, so yeah, awesome. Then we have the Fog Filter Pro L2, yeah, an awesome plugin. It sounds pretty good. Before finding the EBC limiter, it, this was my go-to limiter. I love how hard you can push the sounds in here, and it has pretty cool options that I didn't try. But yeah, these two plugins compete with each other pretty well. Okay, now we have 3D limiter. Um, I don't really like this plugin. I have to say that I don't know if it's just me, but I don't really like uh, most of FL Studio plugins. I find them, I don't know if it's, if it's the UI or what it is, but 
I find them like hard. I don't know if, if they have too many options, if they are not that intuitive or what it is, but yeah, I don't really like this plane, so I'm sorry, but but I have to say it, it's a horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never use it. Okay, then we have the Isotope Awesome, whatever version you like. I started using it from the version nine. I think they are going now for the 12th. So yeah, this plane has everything. Like we have multi band compression, compression, distortion, exciter, a limiter, and many things in this plane. You can even master your track with this plane only. What I like and what I use a lot of about this plane is the exciter and the zero image. Here we are in the limited section because it's the it's what people use mostly at least that's what people said so this one could go to the gold section because it has everything i will be fair but i had to place it on the awesome because it's not a plane that i use that much i as i said you use the stereo image and the exciter a lot um, but I'm not a big fan of the limiter or maximizer i think it's called so yeah i have to place it here which is pretty good actually. <laughs> okay, distortion and saturation plans. In this case, we have the decapitator. This is a nice plane, I have to say. However, something that happens to me that I can't explain, don't judge me, is that I don't really like, I don't know something about it. It sounds good <laughs> and that's what matters. So I don't know why, um, but it's not, I, I don't know if it's the way it looks or, or the different modes or something that, that it crashes the sound too much, but I use it a lot in my productions. So never mind. I had to place it quite high. Um, I don't know if it's okay or awesome, but let, let's, let's give it the awesome because I couldn't even explain why I don't really like it. The next plan is a such fattener. Okay, no. Yeah, this plane is uh, a little bit too nostalgic. I used to use this plane a lot, as most of us, I think. It adds a lot of power, especially to leads and this kind of sounds. But I have to say it's a plane that I never use now. So yeah, I'm sorry for all the fans, but yeah. Alpha filter Saturn 2. Love this plane. When you want to add crispiness, brightness, this is the go-to plane. I love the warmth that it adds when you add it on a base. So yeah, not too much to say. Uh, you should try this one. It's a multi-band distortion plane. So yeah, awesome. Then we have Common Crusher, another nostalgic plane. I think this is pretty good. I used to use it for the distortion and compression option that it has. Adds a lot of power, pretty good plane, but I don't really use it anymore. So, okay. Moving on with the delay section, we have the Echo Boy by Sound Toys. I like this plane because it has a saturation knob incorporated as well as swing knob. However, it doesn't have a low and high cut. I mean, it has, but it's not what I like. I like to have a better control over this. So yeah, it's not a delay plane that I use a lot. So probably a meh. Then we have the Delay 3 by FL Studio. And a lot that I don't really like FL Studio plugins, most of them, this is one of them that I like. It has too many knobs, in my opinion, but you can do a lot with this. What I like about this plane, especially is that it has a, a stereo or a ping pong delay where you can select the amount of panning of the delay. This is not something that every delay plane has. However, I'm still missing the low and high cut control that I like. It's a plane that I use when I go to Apple Studio, so I have to say it's okay. But now that I realize I don't have a third party a main delay plane, so recommend it one in the comments because I, I only use stock plans for, for delay. And yeah, talking about this, the next one is the Ableton stock plane. This is awesome. Uh, so I'm gonna place it there. It has everything that I want, everything that I like. There are three or four plans on Ableton that has plenty of options. So, so yeah, I think I can complain about this. <laughs> so I think it's a, a well deserved awesome. And this probably includes all or most of the delay plans on Ableton. Now let's move to the vocal section and here are all the plans that are mostly used on vocals. First we have the uh, 
Auto Team Pro. Not too much to mention about this plane. I think it's the best one of the Auto Tune planes. I like the humanized option that it has, making the effect softer or harder. So I had to place it in the gold. I mean, it's the best one of this type. When it comes to manual Auto Tune, we have the new tone the, from, from FL Studio, and this is a plane that I love. It's really simple to use, although I hate manual tuning because I'm lazy. This plane make it, makes it simple. So yeah, I, I think this is an awesome. Then we have Melodyne, which is pretty much the same as Newton. I think this one has better control than, than Newton. And this is the third party. This is the one that I use when I'm in Ableton. So yeah, I, I have to place it in the same because I think there's no other option for for Ableton users. Okay, then we have Little Alter Boy. This is a forward shifting and pitch shifting plugin. What I like is that this also have a distortion incorporated, but what I don't like about this plugin is that it can cause facing issues. Like if you push it too hard, it makes it, it, it makes the sound too stereo and I don't like that. So I'll have to place it now. I don't know if meh or okay, but let's go for okay. And it's and it's all the right in front of the screen so I can see. Okay, it's she's going crazy. There we go. <laughs> I, I think she hates my tier list. <laughs> By the way, are you liking it? so far because if you're liking it hit the like button subscribe because it helps a lot and i'm gonna bring more stuff to the community actually it has nothing to do with this video topic but if you check in the description there are many free sample packs if you need something in exchange for the subscription there it is <laughs> be sure to check it out all right then we have manipulator and this is a pretty pretty nice plugin uh, this is also a pitch shifting uh formal shifting plugin but this has many options you can even add the vocoder effect. It has a stereo fader that I love. Um, so yeah, this is this is awesome. The next section is the synth and loud radio sounds. The first is the silent one, and this is pretty nostalgic. It's the beginning of the EDM music. I used to use it a lot, but for leads mainly. So I'd say this playing it's an uh, okay. What I also like that it's very popular, so we so you can find a lot of presets. However, if you are starting and Pucha is going around there. Uh, if you're starting, it could look quite hard to understand. So yeah, I think it's an okay. Then we have Serum, the most popular right now. It's a gold, uh, I have to say it. I use it all the time for all of my production. The learning curve could be quite hard. However, it's totally worth it. There's also millions of preset packs out there. You can also drag noises. So there are an infinite amount of sounds that you can make. It's a striped gold. The next it's vital and yeah, this is the copy of Serum. I don't really use it cause I use Serum. Um, I hardly use it. However, the thing and the pretty cool thing that this plane has is that it's free, but it's not that popular yet. Uh, so there are not that many preset packs out there. Pucho moves, please. I'm talking. I'll probably place it in a Okay, no, in awesome, in awesome, because it's free and it, it deserves it. Okay, contact, nice. How, how to call it, like library of sounds, maybe? I really like it. Uh, there are many quality stuff. I think there are libraries for everything from strings, guitars, um, but the bad point is that the libraries are very expensive. There's a free version, uh, I think it's called Contact Player. I mentioned it in the top three plans uh, that that should be around here but in terms of the quality i uh, i really like it so i had to place it in the awesome section nexus 4 um to be honest this is a very popular library of sounds but it's been a while since i used it actually the last version of nexus that i use is nexus 2 this is probably not fair for what i remember you can find mostly nostalgic sounds like the old school especially for EDM. So yeah, I'm not sure if this is fair, but I'll, but it's not something that I use, so I had to place it in the meh. Next, we have Loves by Spitfire. I love some of the sounds in here, especially the piano. This is similar to Contact, Nexus, uh, library sounds. You can find a lot of stuff here, especially pads and similar sounds. The bad side is that there are not too many sounds, especially for EDM, I think, but the bright side of this is that it's free so yeah nothing to lose 
uh, you should try it, so I think it's an okay. All right, we are on the other plane because these are the plans that are mostly for sound design or for specific stuff. We also have some bonuses in here. So let's start with Portal. Nice plugin that I found recently. It's pretty cool for atmosphere sounds and for sound design. I think the main purpose of this is using preset cause otherwise it could be quite hard, really easy to use and to tweak. So it's an awesome, well deserved. Then we have Shaper Box 3. Another cool one for sound design. We have many options here, filter compressor, a pitch, volume shaper, like a lot of modulation stuff. Yeah, definitely a plan that you should try. So I have to say it's it's an awesome. Then we have the RC20. This plan works pretty well for atmosphere sounds. You have many options here, like a river, sound distortion, a beat crash, sound wobble, where you can add like this kind of vintage or analog sound like the, the wobble. To be honest, I, I don't know on which one uh, I should add it, but there's not a plan like this, I think, now that I've remembered, so I had to place it in awesome. Now we have Endless Smile, and this is a plan that is all the time, especially for buildups. It has one knob, and this is adding a washout effect. This is actually created for buildups. However, this is a plan that you could replicate pretty easy, so I think it's an okay. We have the serum effects. These are the effects of serum, as the name says, um, but I love to use especially the hyper dimension effect from this and the distortion too. I couldn't find similar appliance as this, so it's pretty cool to use for sound design. So I have to say this is an awesome. Then we have fresh air, two knobs, pretty simple, basically adding air or brightness to your sound. It's also free, so I'll say it's an okay. Then we have span, the gold of the spectrum analyzer. You have here all the information you need. Yeah the code. All right, this is a plane that I love. You can barely see it, but this is the kind of hurts has effect. The has effect is basically a very sharp pinpoint delay which has a slight difference in timing of the right and left side, making it playing one time on every side but with a slight delay, meaning this plays a little bit before than this side. This creates a very stereo feeling. So this playing makes very easy to add this effect. I really like to use this for back vocals. This is free and this comes in a bundle by Kylo Hertz. You should check it out. I'll place it on OK because you can basically replicate this effect, but, but I love it, to be honest. And finally, we have the last plane. I think this is a plane that you haven't tried because it's not very popular, but I recently tried and I love it. But before of that, let me know what you think about this tier list in the comments, if you agree with it, if, you, if I missed something, and if you like it and you can agree with this, hit the like button and subscribe to help me bring in more stuff to the community. It helps a lot. And yeah, this is a plan that you can find in this video. Here I'm showing the top 10 free plans that you must try. This is a chorus plan for Mela Production. It's a bundle of free plans. This is a chorus with many presets, actually different choruses. It, it's like having multiple plans in one. I just tried it in one of my last Deep, Deep House videos, so I had to place it in Awesome. So now go here and download all of these free plans because you should try them. Find in the description the list of all the plans in this video. My name is XGuy, click here and I see you there.